16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The announcements for this week are, thank you to all who have returned their Catholic annual appeal pledge envelope. It is not too late to return your pledge envelope if you haven't already done so. Mass schedules, new mass schedule is printed in the parish bulletin. Daily mass schedule is every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 a.m. Please take a bulletin for more information. The Mass today is being celebrated by Father Tuma. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. Jesus has pity on the crowd and miraculously feeds them in his compassion. The Lord answers all our needs, thus renewing his covenant of love with us. Nothing can enter, nothing can ever separate us from the love of Christ. Please join me in praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer is being said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael.
answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored throughout world order. Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, I you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without pay and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy. Eat me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me, eat food. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all of his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord is good to us, he answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. To all who call upon him in truth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, why will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish and distress or persecution? or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword. No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am con convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor power, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Baptist, 
he would move in a boat to a desert place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he healed their sick. When it was evening, the disciple approached him and said, This is a desert place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the village and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourself. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowd to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragment left over, twelve wicker basket fuller. Those who ate were all about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> One of the conference I attended at the Jesuit retreat, and just they print out for the thesis that five plus two equal five thousand. And yes, at the campus that for university and high school and elementary and many of the children around the campus, so they look at first where that thesis. Five plus two equal five thousand. Everyone look at that crazy. Do they know their math? That is wrong. Five plus two only equal what? Five thousand. What is going on? And so because of the team that they focus about miracle. So miracles be no reason. Some way we could not explain. We try to come up the reason what going on, and yes, the first reading today we hear: we in need of food, hunger, and God say, "Come, come! I will feed you. Come, I will shelter you. Come, I will give you all you need." God provide everything. Wow! What going on? Where did He go? Second reading, and yet say, all of us that God loves us doesn't matter suffering, challenge, and everything cannot take away the love that God giving and love us faithful to us. Why God love us unconditionally? No reason. Human being, we try to figure out whatever good for us we do, whatever not we avoid, go away. The miracle today that more give us, kind of not even us, the disciple who follow Jesus and observe his teaching and know about him, and even admire him. Jesus, come on, yeah, late. Send them away so they can go to buy some food for themselves, so they can feed themselves, their family. Jesus said, "No, we have to feed them. 
feed them. He ordered them their mouth to feed them. Five loaves and two feet. How do you feed this crowd? Bring to me. He took it. Bring up. Look up to heaven. Say the first thing. Say this to be one. And then the disciple be you heard. And they are these smart have to short. They cannot get more detail. But what happened? He fed 5,000 non cow women and children. And even collecting 12 baskets left over. And yet, of course, miracle. How that happened? Just little getting into it. God can create us. God don't need us. In anything, yet God can do it. But God needs us to help God to help us. In time of need, Jesus also saw us today. Yes, coronavirus, all the situation, terrorists, we have problems with financial. There's not many people in the church contribution, you know, and all people worry and all the things. Do we have faith in God? God say, yeah, you will survive. Everyone keep in little bit. You won't make it, you know. And that's why I wrote the letter to you asking you for help. And yes, this time, we have to rely in God's help. And if we able to, just like this group of people, when Jesus plays upon the food, everyone have little bits they share. They share, they participate in. They engage, they help. More than they need, we have more. We do need help. We do need to see and want to witness those miracles here in these parables. So trust in God's love. And so together, I ask you, please stand up so we possess our faith as we renew our own faith when we baptize into the church. So at this time that we do it again, so I ask you, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Amen. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was suffered, was death, and was buried, rose again from the death, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I this is the faith we profess when we baptize into the church. So we all will offer our prayer to the Lord that we say, to the Lord of kindness and compassion, to the law of justice and mercy, to the law who is near to all, let us pray. Then the church leaders, stewards of our faith, will lead in the way they lead, that will draw all believers to know Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world's government's authorities will work together in the cause of global peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who live with chronic illness will find assurance that they are always in God's tender care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who share pastoral gifts of hospitality be blessed with patience and loving hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, we are That our parish grow growing faith and respect for our believers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are For all those who have died, especially Janice Reeves, Tamalini, our grandson, that they may enjoy the goodness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers enter in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are We also pray for poised new sun the former president here of the Samoa community. He passed away last week. I was anointing him around two in the morning and asked you to remember him and his family at this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord in the abundance of your kindness, O Lord, hear our prayer. May we give you thanks for what you have given us by giving joyfully to offer. May we embrace your spirit of love by loving one another with selflessness and compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Make holy, therefore, the 
they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in bed, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered raised into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's what the blessed person Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph who is found, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may marry to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be your forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and form by divine we dare to say, Our Father. Whoa. 
what if this is Christ who said to your also peace, I leave you my peace, I give you look not on our worship, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer each offer the sign of peace and love. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the seeds of the water. This is as it was called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I the word that he should enter on my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be I ask you to join me to receive spiritual communion, and so those people who are unable to be here with us, they are watching on live stream, so they can receive the spiritual communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Lord of Israel. I love you all our things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive your sacramentally, come and live spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and I love myself according to you. Never permit to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you so much in time of challenging and difficult, and you make the big miracle here in the Paris. So participate in and help, so we continue to have fun, celebrate. As you know that for the coronavirus that increased, the reason why they still allow us to worship because we keep follow the direction that they gave us for the safety. And so that's why we have to wear face masks, we have to keep distance, we have to send it for time that washing hands, and then also that help one another to clean up the place. And I think many of you who tirelessly to help us in volunteering different ways and help. At this time, we need more help and work. But yes, when you help, you have to know what you have to do. Because if not, and confusing more people, that's why many training and the direction. And yes, you know, before, if you help the parents, like you have to clean the restroom. Everyone will go to the restroom. Wow, I don't want to do this, you know. Or you have to clean the pew. Oh, no. You know, and these all kind of stuff, so it's a lot of things that need to help. And so that's why I ask you, pray if you're not able to help. Pray and support and love and care. And that's why the miracle happened today. Jesus shared with us, fed 5,000, five loaves and two bread. People participate, people giving, and that might happen. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord.